Welcome to Central Conveyors Limited's video channel. In this video we're illustrating two simple safety mechanisms that featured in a recent mezzanine floor conveyor. The first is a mechanism to avoid hands being trapped and the second is a safety interlock system to prevent the conveyor being activated by accident. Whenever a moving conveyor belt butts up against a fixed object there is a danger of fingers or hands being trapped between the two and pulled down into the gap. In this case that is impossible as the roller is not firmly bolted into the frame but merely resting on its mounts and hence moves out of the way if a hand is put in, preventing injury. For good measure it also triggers a sensor that stops the conveyor and sounds an alarm. The roller must be repositioned and the master reset pressed before the conveyor can be repowered. Another interesting situation arises due to the machine having multiple control positions. This can be an issue if one operator detects a problem and stops the conveyor and then an operator at another distant position, out of eye line of the problem, restarts the machine, potentially aggravating the situation and presenting a potential safety hazard. The system mitigates against this with interlocks. When one operator presses their stop button, that control panel becomes the master. All other panels are locked out and only that panel can restart the machine. Once the operator has resolved the problem and restarted the conveyor, the interlock is removed and the other panels become active again. Even the master reset button cannot override this behaviour, the reasoning being that the person pressing the reset button will themselves be out of sight of the problem and will not be in a position to judge that it's safe to restart. Once an operator presses their stop button, their panel light flashes, indicating which position it is that is currently the master. One practical problem arises out of this. If an operator does stop the machine, not because of an emergency, but because they simply don't need it any longer, uh, for example at the end of a shift or during a lunch break, it would then be necessary for their replacement to walk around the machine to find out which control position is the master before they can restart the machine. This would obviously be inconvenient, especially if the current master panel is on an upper level. Well the answer is simple, don't press the stop button at the end of the shift, only press it in emergencies. The machine is designed to power down automatically when it detects that no packages have been present for 60 seconds and would allow any control position to subsequently restart it. We hope you have enjoyed our little presentation. If you'd like to know more about Central Conveyor's range of conveyor solutions, please call us on 01509 816064 or email us at sales at central-conveyors.co.uk If you found our little video informative or entertaining, please do click the YouTube like button and feel free to browse the other videos in our channel. Just do a YouTube search on Central Conveyors. Thank you for watching.